Welcome to Horse and Round. Where it's really cold. So Malloy's inside. Isn't he darling? Y'all, I have got a barn full. <laughs> yes. Hi, Miss America. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah, it's still pretty cold, isn't it? I know, I see. Hi, man. And Maggie. So I did have a little bit of snow get in this morning. So this morning or overnight, I guess. <laughs> you girls have food and I'm not letting you out today. It is negative 24 wind chill right now, guys. Just a little too cold for you. Your friends outside are probably wishing they were you because you guys are dry. I know, it's not any fun being stuck in a stall. I get that. Hi, Taz. Your buckets are a little frozen. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, hi. Hi. Look at your tail, Maggie. Too funny. So anyway, as you can see, it snowed in some of my doors last night, even though I had them as tight as I could. Kind of came in my doors a little bit. I came around this morning. Honestly, I was in the barn this morning for about an hour, a little over an hour, hour and a half. Um, and that is absolutely so cold. I was in the barn about an hour and a half this morning, cleaning stalls. I cleaned everybody's stalls. I came and I did all of this and added a whole bunch of shavings. <laughs> I'd already added shavings along here but I found just these random little spots that had snow come in. So I came back through and, and sealed it up. So last night it was a little bit cold for them, I'm sure. Nothing like it was outside. But they seem to be doing very well. Hi. Hi, you. <laughs> you have eaten the most of everybody. You would really like back outside. They're not fans of being in here. They really would like back outside. Hi, miss, pretty girl. And I'll tell you, these stalls are always worrisome for me. I really only can put horses like this in it. Like, see, hers isn't thawed. I mean, hers isn't frozen. Um, because she's on the inside, it's really just the One's on the, on the north. Anyways, what I was going to say is these, the baby is mad in here. Uh, these stalls are worrisome for me because I'm always afraid they're going to put a foot through that or they're going to try and go visit their neighbor. He can learn some patience. Listen to him or, or something like that. So you got to have horses that are pretty laid back and pretty calm to go in these stalls of mine. I obviously am not putting a yearling colt or, or something in here. I'm not putting Diva in here, any of these horses right now. I put my outside horses that are, are quiet or some calm mares that are, or, or geldings and stuff that come. But you can hear the wind. It's, it's coming. It's nasty. Look how fat that cat is. Look at him. What? You're so adorable. I didn't know you were up there. Hi. Yeah. No, stay there. Stay there. All right, guys, it's feeding time. One thing that you'll notice is that I am continuing to just clean stalls. Um, the reason that I am cleaning stalls 
I'll show you. I'm just going to pick Belle. It's because, hey Belle, scoot. Good girl. Those are rock hard. And if they're laying in their stalls and they're, you know, they can't lay down in them. And what they're going to do is they'll, they'll, really? Really? Yeah, the cat came to visit you. I know, ho oh, girlfriend. Hi, mama. Oh, hey, mama. Oh, my mama. Um, look at all their fuzz. Well, anyway, so I want to make sure that when they go to lay down, they're laying on shavings or they're laying on hay and that they're not laying on hard poop. So keep them with as much hay as I possibly can keep them to where they do not just throw it into the corner um, because the hay is what will keep them warm. As you can see, her hair is standing on end. It's that paleo thing. Um, I'll, if I haven't talked about it, I'll talk about it at some point, but I don't blanket horses because mine have a ton of hair uh, and they don't need it. She's gonna come say hi. Oh, hi, hi. You and your won't let me touch your mane and get it all fixed, but hi, hi. <laughs> Belle, you are hilarious. Well, anyway, that is what's going on. Diva says hi. She's a lot calmer today. Hold on, you can't see her. I know, you're just darling. But, so I'm cleaning stalls still. I probably won't take it and dump it yet. I might do it right now when there's not as much wind. Never mind, did you hear that wind? Jeez. Oh, wait till I show you. Look at all the snow that came in last night. And I had this, I thought I had it very well um, sealed up, but it was blowing 50 to 60 miles an hour last night. And I just don't think that you can protect it enough for anything. So the layers here are shavings, hay netting, and I stuffed more in there. Look at that, it even came all the way up on his stall. This north wind is just hard to protect against, you know? But that's why I moved her out of the stall and, and just moved her down there because it's a lot warmer. Why would you wanna be in that stall when the snow's gonna blow in it when you can come down here and just live in this nice, pretty clean stall? Uh, and that's warm. So, I got Bell's stall done. And the thing you'll notice also is I pulled everything away from the sides. Uh, hi, girlfriend. And that way it's all in the middle again. I flipped it all over, got all the pee that was at the bottom that of course was gonna be a stain. But that's the important thing. On, on times like right now, this is all about survival. I don't care that my aisleways are very dirty. I don't care about all that stuff. I'll clean those later. I want to make sure that my horses are well taken care of and that they're warm. Taz wants to go outside, but he does not know that that's not smart. I did get all the tanks inside, got them filled last night. Um, it's not, they're not frozen. See, it, it's just a little bit, but I am going to go ahead today and throw, put out my, uh, tank heaters at least and I'm going to put it in in this front tank and then when that one's gone I'll put it into that back tank but this front tank I want to use it and get it all the way down so I can just move it out of the way because it's not the most convenient to have it blocking right here my cord is a frozen jumbled mess so I'm going to straighten it out in here instead of outside where it's really really cold all right, that's a lot better with zero kinks. So I got this sucker right here ready to go. I'll come back and plug these in. This is a floating de-icer. I have a different de-icer that drops all the way to the bottom. They both work equally as well. 
The disadvantage to this one outside is that they'll come and they'll mess with it. They'll push on it, they'll sink it, they'll play with it, especially the babies. They love to come. So a lot of times I put it, the one that's the one that drops to the bottom, but this is the one that I have in the barn. And this is the one I cleaned up, ready to go. So I got the tank heater going and it already looks like it's starting to work a little bit. Uh, got everybody nice and fed. They're all snug as a bug in a rug. And I'm going to uh, head inside for a little while. Come back out in a couple hours and feed some more hay. They need hay 24 hours a day, much as they possibly can have. Fresh water. Hi. You always want some snuddles. Hi. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. Hi. Hi. It's right at freezing in the barn right now. And it is negative 20 something wind chill outside miserable outside. So you should be very happy you're here. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.